Greetings everyone, I'm Kevin and today we're going to set up my reading journal for July and for six months of favorites. So the first thing I'm doing is setting up my six months of favorites spread and I decided to do this kind of title page with just print on blue paper. It says six months of favorites in English, Thai and German. Thai because I am currently learning Thai and German because I am working on becoming fluent in German in 2022. So that's why. And then this is my non-bookish favorites. So my favorite TV shows, movies, and music, but also my favorite event of the year so far for these six months. And I do this kind of shelf thing and the top five are my top five series of this year so far and they are actually in order so the first one is light on me i adore that show so so much it's almost insane how much i love it but it's it's literally perfect like the only issue that i have with it is a very petty issue and it's not really an issue it's more like something that i'm bothered by that that has absolutely nothing to do with the show. It's the fact that, you know, they leave bottles of uh, drinks undrunk and, and and leave. Like that's the only thing that bothers me with that show. So it's very a very petty reason. But light on me, the absolute best thing I've ever watched uh, so far this this year. Absolutely love it. Had I done my favorite queer shows. A few weeks after I did, this show would have made it to that list. It will make it to that list from now on. Then the next shelf and the bottom shelf, which is like the tiny shelf, they're just put in random order. Um, I didn't even put them in the order of how I did them. And then as you can see, I uh, did something uh, wrong. I messed up. And you can see that a lot of times in this video that I mess things up, but I find ways to make it seem as if I didn't mess up and I intended to do this thing that I did not intend to do. And I color in this little, what is what are they called? They have a very succulent, are they called succulents? That flower type? I don't know. But I do like this kind of like shelf look. Then I tried to find a blue that matched the title and did it for my top tier TV shows. Then I had uh, to struggle a little bit to figure out how to make sure that all of the, the four music things, the two movies and the highlight of the year fit. The movies are Game Boys, the movies. So on the top tier, you have in the middle Game Boys, the TV show, and then they have a movie. So of course the movie's included. And then the other movie is Aladdin. I don't watch a lot of movies, which you can obviously see. And then for music, we have Citizen Soldier. I absolutely love that band. They're absolutely great. And then we have Why Are You, the entire playlist for Why Are You, which is another show that I like. And it's also on that, the second shelf. I think it's the one on the absolute right. But that soundtrack is so, so good. And then we have To My Star, which is also really beautiful. And then Why Are You? Um, and then we have Don't Say No. I was very confused. Don't Say No. The, the intro song is great. But as you saw when I did the Don't Say No one, I messed up at the bottom. And then I just made it seem as if I had meant to make it look like it's hanging on the wall. So I did something for all of these um, music pictures. The next thing I did was just these finding a sticker with blue. It wasn't very easy to find and just sticking them somewhere on the paper. But the highlight that I have on the absolute bottom is the fact that Sweden started this year in January by winning the European Championship for the first time in 20 years. And it was such a highlight that like I cried and I cried and I cried. It was such a horrible experience watching these games and Sweden just kept making it to the next level. Corona was a big issue. Sweden had so many Corona cases. 
like reserve players who were flown in from Sweden to play and it was just this huge thing so much drama going into that championship but we ended up winning against a, a, a country we've we haven't won against for a very long time so that's amazing and as you see with like light on me at the very top it got some uh, special attention and a crown because as i said it's perfection i love that show so much Then we move on to my six months books stats, reading stats, I should have said reading stats, book stats, right? Um, and I have these pie charts because I really do love pie charts. I think they have this very nice aesthetic going to them. We start off by doing this little title thing for the six months of uh, reading stats or six months reading stats. I had to figure out how how to do this kind of title. I do like how it turned out. I the whole thing with like this setup that I'm doing today. I haven't prepared anything other than what I have printed. I haven't come I haven't prepared where to put things. I haven't sketched anything on these pages for this or for July. So I wanted to show kind of my process when I make my setups so that you see them from like the entire process and not just after I've sketched how I want everything to look. So this is just me figuring out how I want everything to look. And usually I'm very happy with how things turn out and um, yeah, I'm very happy and I think these pie charts look really good with that little gap between them. And the first one here we have is digital versus owned. And it's very interesting to me to see that it's such kind of like an equal amount of books that I read digitally. So audiobook, uh, ebook, anything like that. And then owned is books that I owned. So digital, I also count library books, but that's mainly because the library books I have gotten have been digital. So I have borrowed audiobooks and ebooks from the library and not really any physical books. Then here we have my ratings. And this was very interesting to see because almost half the books have gotten four stars. But you will understand because of the five stars. Only eight books have gotten five stars so far this year. And the reason for that is I don't give out five stars this year unless it's a solid five star book. So if it's a book that I feel like this is really, really good, but I wouldn't say that it's a solid five star, then I give it 4.5 stars, which means that I count it as four stars. So for four stars, I count 3.5, four and 4.5. While for three stars, I only count 2.5 and three. For two, I only count 1.5 and two. And then for five, I only count five. And the zero and DNF thing is either unrated or a book I DNF'd. And we don't have a lot of books on that, which I'm very happy about. And now you saw I messed up the title because for 15, wasn't uh, physical TBR, it was hold. But I realized um, while editing this video that I had completely messed up. Because you know, from the previous page on the left side, it says that I read 36 books that I owned. So how did I end up from 36 books that I owned to 16 books from my physical TBR? How did that happen? Well, I miscalculated because 10 of the books that I hauled, I read because I hauled them. So they were owned on the left page. I counted them as owned books. But on the right side, I hauled the books. So they weren't on my physical TBR. So I didn't read 10 books on my physical TBR before I hauled them. I hauled them and then I read them. So I decided to erase 10 
but I apparently erased 20. So it should be 26 to 15 and not 16 to 15. I really messed that up and I have corrected it, but it looks so ugly. I don't want to show what it looks like. Um, so if you're curious about how ugly it became, stay tuned for the um, flip through at the end of the year where I flip through the entire journal and show you all of the spreads and all of that. I also find it really interesting to look at like the page count at the bottom to see which ones are the most common for me. And it's apparently 100 to 199 pages, so short, but that's also because I read a lot of mangas and graphic novels this year. I'm really happy that I found this pen with almost the identical color to the brown paper and I thought it looks really, really pretty. I just really, really enjoy that. And I enjoy also like the format thing that you see, it's almost perfect uh, quarters. It's almost like um, a quarter each. So they're almost like they're the most even out of all of these, apart from like how I got the book, which is almost 50, 50. I just, I enjoy seeing these pie charts because they give me an idea of how I read in a very like nice way. And I'm still very happy that I read 74 books. And then we go to my actual July specific setup. And here you can really see, as I said, I haven't done any preparation, any sketching, anything. I haven't even gotten like ideas. I haven't drawn small, pads of paper with how I want it to look, nothing. So I just went into this sketching, how do I want it to look? And here I had this idea of maybe look, making it look like, you know, outside of a shop and make maybe something like that. But then I was like, no. And I came up with this idea instead to have these beautiful succulents because I did do that for my favorites, non-bookish favorites. And I thought, hey, that would be fun to do for my July setup. So I kept doing that. And I think this turned out really, really pretty. And I just, I, I never knew that about myself, but apparently I enjoy drawing flowers and plants and cacti. I didn't know that. I have learned that about myself now. Uh, thanks to uh, doing these little things, but I'm very happy with how they look and I think it's such a fun thing to draw these kinds of plants and I think also like This is just really really cute. I just find it really really cute and then usually on every setup that I do every like month specific spread I do a little tracker for my YouTube channel so down at the bottom, we have three pots. So on the left, we have for July 1st, where I will write the stats for July 1st. And then on the right, we have July 31st, where I will write the stats for the last day of July. So to see kind of like the growth of my channel from the first to the last day of the month. And in the middle, we have this beautiful thing with subscribers, views, and watch time. So that's the things that I will write on each side and see how the growth is between the two. So now I'm coloring everything in and I love coloring these in because even though I do like them sketched out and in black and white, it's like they come to life a little bit when I color them in. And I really love the contrast that I do with the different shades of green to create this kind of 3D effect kind of. And I think it looks really cool on the U one. And then I go in with my pen to just get even more details to it, to make it even more detailed. <laughs> I don't know what I was gonna say. But I think it looks really, really pretty. I'm just extremely happy with how it turned out. I was thinking of coloring in the background a little so that it wasn't just white. 
but then I felt like now if I do that it will probably look weird on the uh, six months reading stats on the back as you can see it some of it you you notice that it's there are things on the other side I'm making the outlines for all of these pie charts and I think they look stunning I am really really happy with that chart and then we move on to the most difficult thing that I did and it's my TBR page I am always such so I'm always very nervous about doing my TBR page because I do want it to look good because it's the page that I use the most in a year or in a year in a month it's where I write the books I'm reading I'm supposed to read and all of that so the first rectangle that we have is for yeah TBR see my TBR game and then we have Kingdom Hearts a fan which is the read a fan I'm participating in and then we have books read and I got this idea because hey I have on my title page these plants why not make the these things into shelves so the yaktbrc title is now a shelf for plants and books and stuff and i think like i love that idea i think it was such a nice idea to do and i messed something up a little later and i love that i messed it up because it looks absolutely amazing and you will you will notice what I mean this also I really love that I got to use washi tape and I think it's such a perfect washi tape to use because it has succulents and cacti so I was like yay I'm gonna use it and it looks really cute as kind of like a title page thing or a header in this case And I didn't have any sticker that was uh, cactus or succulent, so I just put that in. But from the screen or from this view, it doesn't, you know, seem like it. And there, where is where I messed up, if you could see, um, which is why I decided to make an extra looking shelf so it became an S instead of just three rectangles. But I do really love that mistake that it happened because now it looks like shelves. It looks like this is the wall of someone's home. And I do these like scribbles to make it look like it's wood. And I just, I'm really happy with that mistake that I did that. And then I'm coloring it in in brown to make it, you know, seem like it's wood. And I'm coloring everything in. And it's beautiful in my opinion. And again, like I love drawing, like painting in these, coloring in these plants. I think they look stunning. I just, I'm really, really happy with how everything turned out this month with the six months favorites, the stats, and also my July spread. So this is it. <laughs> so we have, first we have my six months of favorites. I didn't think that it would cover an entire page. I thought that it would, that I would have space to kind of write things and do that. Um, I should have made this smaller. I made this an entire page because I thought that this wouldn't take up an entire page. So I thought instead of having a lot of free space, I could just do this an entire page. I think I do really like this page. And of course the best show and the best shows and then the next best and like the rest of them aren't in order but these this looks so weird when I'm doing it from above. But this is absolutely like, oh my God, these five. Perfection, love it. This is literally perfect. I don't have any negative things to say about that show. And then we have my reading stats. I messed up these two, which you saw, but I do really like how this turned out, especially with like 
the brown pen that I used. 74 books read in six months. I am incredibly impressed with myself if I do say so. And then we have my July spread. So the last thing that I have to do is color this little thing at the bottom because I do it every month for what color that month is. I used to, let's see. Yeah, I haven't used this green. So just going to color this in. Now it is officially finished. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you next time. Good reading. Bye.